Hey, this is Anthony Effinger at Willamette Week, and I'm back with another edition of Distant Voices. And today I'm talking with Ken Kaneko. He's the founder of Ford Greens just over the river in Vancouver. And we're going to hear how he is coping with the pandemic. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So tell us about Forward Greens. Oh, um, Forward Greens is basically a local indoor farm based out of Vancouver, Washington. And we make salad greens, microgreens inside of a controlled warehouse. And currently we're serving customers across Oregon as well as Washington and places like Portland, Vancouver, Washington, and Seattle, Washington. So why in a controlled warehouse? That's a good question. You know, when you're able to control the, the environment, and what I mean by the environment, you have like things like temperature, um, humidity, airflow, lighting. Um, you're able to control a number of things that are very important to the plant. And <clears throat> what that means for the consumer is that we're able to produce a local and sustainable food source in a really responsible way in which we're not using as much land, we're not using as much water, and it's basically a much fresher product as compared to maybe baby greens or lettuces that are coming out of Salinas or Yuma, which have to travel up here, maybe you know, almost close to 1,000 miles. Okay, and how much can you produce in your warehouse? Um, you know, right now we're producing roughly like 500 pounds, but we have capacity to go up to anywhere between 1,000 to 1,500 per day. Wow, okay. And now tell me how you got into this. Um, it's kind of a weird story, but um, I, I was formerly an engineer. My first job was in uh, Hillsboro, Oregon, um, on Roller Acres campus at Intel. And then I uh, moved over to uh, Apple for a few years. And during one of my business trips, I was able to see one of these indoor farms in Japan for a business trip. And kind of right at that point, I, I got excited, I wanted to try it, and I thought I could potentially um, iterate and make it better. And I thought bringing it to Pacific Northwest would be a great idea, given that one, I, I like living out here, <laughs> but two, uh, I think the customership in terms of um, favoring and appreciating local fresh produce is very strong in the Pacific Northwest. So you went from working a, you know, like a day job mm -hmm. at Apple, to starting your company. How did you start the company? There wasn't much magic or process to it. It's, it's, it's going to sound foolish, but I, you know, basically made a determination. Uh, I believe, you know, start formulating the ideas, kind of start building the crew up um, sometime in 2018. Um, I even asked my good high school best friend to join me and he was foolish enough to join me as well. <laughs> and, uh, we just kind of jumped right in. So had you, did you have any farming or gardening experience before this trip to Japan? Not so much. I mean, you know, I, I, my, my family, my mother, you know, she, she keeps a garden in the backyard, but that wasn't, you know, agriculture, agronomy. Those aren't necessarily things that I studied or were trained in. So there was a number of things we need to learn and we're still continuing to learn. Did you find any overlap between your previous life and this one? You know, surprisingly, there's, there's a lot. And I think that's what's helping me out. Um, you know, getting, you know, educated in science, I think it's, it's useful in a lot of ways. You get to kind of think through things, break things apart. But um, <clears throat> having the experience at Intel was really valuable to me. In addition to kind of doing operations at Apple, given that, both companies, um, I did R&D as well as operations, and manufacturing is, is very much a strong and important part to those companies, and that's exactly what I was doing there. So with respect to you know, building a farm, we streamlined so many things in here, and a lot of that streamlining and making wise and clever capital expenditure spends, all that kind of stuff, I, I think, um, came from, you know, the prior experience that I, I was fortunate enough to have. How have you been doing during this crazy year of COVID lockdown, election madness? <laughs> How's business? 
Business is, uh, is, is, is fine, actually. It's, we used to be called, we, were, we actually rebranded this summer. So we used to be called West Village Farms up until maybe July of 2020. And we recently became Four Greens. So doing a rebrand during um, COVID, wildfires, and protests, and, you know, you can name it, the year of 2020 um, has been a huge learning experience. Um, with West Village Farms, we, we've had great traction with respect to engaging with customers through demos, you know, things that we kind of took for granted, which is social interaction. Now, you know, with social distancing and, and tighter regulations on how people can travel and interact with one another, we really had to kind of think outside the box to, you know, email, social, and other sorts of campaigns that don't necessarily require us to be there in person engaging with our customers. So what are you growing now? So we're growing, you know, it's a number of things. We're, <laughs> we mainly build salad kits or salad, not kits, salad blends for, for retail uh, use, but we're also in food services. But we're, we're growing anything from arugula to broccoli to uh, kale, uh, baby greens, in addition to microgreens of like radish, cress, um, mustards, and uh, other kind of ornamental type of uh, um, greens that go into more food service um, applications. Okay, so now you're going to get suited up and take us into your farm. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, I gotta get my hair net on. So this is how we grow things. Um, we utilize LED lighting in order to provide lighting to the and energy to the plants. And underneath, we have a recirculating irrigation system that saves on water and provides nutrients and kind of sustenance to the plants. And this is basically, you know, a bed of microgreens that we're growing right now. So what do you have there? We have like a spicier hot mix, a milder sweet mix, broccoli, kale mixes. And basically if you kind of step back, we have, we just have like towers and towers of this stuff. Um, and we have multiple aisles and, and bays of this stuff going on. One last question here. How do you get up to the top? Oh, <laughs> that, that's a really good question. We, we don't ever go up there ourselves. Um, we, uh, we use basically, you know, kind of like industrial equipment, um, scissor lifts and fork trucks and all that kind of stuff to, to, to get our product up and down from the racks. Is this what happens when an Intel engineer gets into farming? I don't know about that. It's, it's uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of ways that people are trying to solve and, and implement this sort of similar type of farm. And this is just our team's original spin on it. So if people go into the store, they look for packages that say four greens and that's you, right? That's us. Yeah. And are you in the stores around the Portland metro area now? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're in Whole Foods, Soup Pants, New Seasons. So, you know, whenever there's a chance, please check us out. That's fantastic. Ken, this is great. Thank you so much for your time. This is wonderful. Okay. Okay.